Hello everyone and welcome to Jacklet Educational Channel. So in this video we will go for the rapid revision. Yes, rapid revision. Why I am telling? Because we are not going to learn much more deeper about any concept. We will simply solve the questions which came in previous year's environmental science examination. So we have taken the net environmental science paper and today we are going to do the rapid revision. So those who haven't checked the previous revision video, you can check the link given in the description below. So I will start the today's video. Before starting the MCQ revision, I would like to tell you that be ready with the pen and paper and write down how many questions you are able to find correctly when I am reading the question. Write the number of questions which you have correctly given the answer in the comment section. So today we are going to discuss on the very important topic that is water. So questions related to water, water bodies, parameters, and all these things we will going to discuss in this video. So the first question is mercury pollution is considered hazardous to human health because of which of the following reasons so i'll wait for 2 to 3 seconds then i'll get the answer so here the correct option will be option number b because mercury accumulates and its concentration increases high up in the food chain so it is showing the property of bioaccumulation and then it biomagnificates so that is biomagnification takes place so the second question is assertion and reasoning type of question the assertion statement states chlorine which is widely used as an effective and relatively inexpensive disinfectant in water generates toxic organic chlorine compounds in water and the reason given is that hypochlorous acid reacts rapidly with the humic acids and hydroxobenzene so here the correct option will be option number 1 because both assertion and reasoning statement are correct and r is the correct explanation of a because chlorine when reacts with water it forms hypochlorous acid that is hcl or hclo so let's move to the next question the next question is in the purification of drinking water the purpose of aeration is not to hurt so here the correct option will be option number 4 because aeration is done not to precipitate the colloidal particles in the purification of drinking water chalte hain hamare fourth question ki taraf the fourth question is which of the following is an organo carbamate insecticide so this is very simple if you apply the trick that here in the option number 3 the word carb is used and here carbamate is used so option number 3 is the correct answer Aldicarb is an example of organo carbamate insecticide. The fifth question is it is also assertion and reasoning type of question. Assertion says organo phosphate insecticide have lower values of partition coefficient that is KOW than organo chlorine pesticide. And reason me diya gaya hai ki organo phosphate insecticide have lower ability to form hydrogen bonds with the water than the organo chlorine pesticide. So here you should know what is partition coefficient before answering this question so i'll tell you that partition coefficient of the pesticide that is given as kow is defined as the ratio of pesticide concentration in the soil particle that means when it is sticking to the soil particle what is the concentration divided by the concentration in solution phase that is when the pesticide is dissolved in the soil water so pehle soil ke sath aur denominator mein hoga soil water ke sath kya concentration form karta hai so lower the kow value that means denominator is higher that means dissolution in the soil water is higher so lower the value of partition coefficient of the pesticide that means greater the concentration of the pesticide in solution greater the hydrogen bond with water but reason here is telling lower the value of organophosphate that is given in the assertion is having the lower ability to form hydrogen is wrong because lower the partition coefficient value higher the ability to form hydrogen bond with the water let's move to the next question the question number 6 is the technique which is fastest for measuring organic carbon is what so here the correct option will be option number 4 because from the definition also you can measure because that is total organic carbon so that is measuring of organic carbon in the fastest way in terms of other parameters the seventh question is with increase in temperature what is the change in the specific conductivity of water so here the correct option will be option number b as the temperature increases the specific conductivity of water also increases Let's move to the eighth question. The eighth question is: Groundwater movement 
depends on the following characteristics of rock materials. So we have to choose what are the properties which are depending for the groundwater movement. And here the correct option will be option number 4. Yes, because all this option porosity, permeability, specific yield and specific retention capacity depends on the groundwater movement. So let's move to the ninth question. The ninth question is in an aquatic system, the presence of noxious gas such as H2S that is hydrogen sulfide and methane is associated with which of the following reasons. So here the correct option will be option B, oxygen depletion. Yes, when the oxygen are depleted, the anaerobic bacteria grows as the algal growth happens. So they lead to the formation of noxious gas, methane and hydrogen sulfide. The next question is, among the following insecticides, which one is relatively more soluble in water? So here the correct option will be option number A LD carb. So we have read it is the organic carbamate pesticide which is more soluble in water as compared to these three. The eleventh question is which of the following compounds used for the disinfection of water is not stable it is prepared in C2 that means on the site. So here the correct option will be option number four HOCl that is hypochlorous which we have discussed is prepared in C2 and it is not stable. Let's move to the next question. The next question is identify the incorrect statement with regard to the water purification by coagulation technique. So here the correct option will be option number 2 because the suspended particles doesn't carry the positive charge they carry the negative charge you have to remember such as trick is jo suspend hote hain unke upar negative marks lag jata hai so suspended particles carry negative charge in the process of coagulation the 13th question is in relation to water drinking source correctly match the permissible values of the water parameters so we will do the same thing which most of us used to do when we get this match the following question so first thing if you know pH that is the basic thing we will go and match with the number one that is which should be between 6.5 to 8.5 and check in the options. So B is one that is having with option one and two so that is a bad luck. Let's move to the next one. Next what we can do? We can tell the total coliform organism MPN. So MPN ka full form hota hai most probable number. So it can be a number it should not be a concentration. So number means A will match with number 2 which is less than 50 per 100 ml should be the total coliform organism most probable number now we will see whether a is having with 2 yes a is having with 2 so then also uh, both the options are there so there is a very bad luck this is not about bad luck actually they want to test the basic knowledge of student so what we should check is dissolved oxygen should be greater in amount so 6 milligram per liter or more should be the dissolved oxygen and BOD that is biochemical oxygen demand should be lesser in number that is concentration which is 2 milligram per liter or less. So here the correct option will be option number 1. So in this question we have to match with the correct water type along with the conductivity. So conductivity unit is micro semen per centimeter and you should know the water which is having more number of ions will be more polluted and will be the having highest conductivity. So in that sense fresh water ka sabse kam ion hoga that means the conductivity will be least it is 2 to 4 conductivity. Similarly organically enriched river will be having the highest amount of conductivity that is highest amount of ions so it will be option number A greater than 500. So as you can see these two options are correctly matching with the option number 1 so option number 1 will be the correct option. The next question is for the untreated municipal wastewater the BOD by COD ratio will be in what range? So you should know for the untreated municipal wastewater the COD that is chemical oxygen demand will be more that's why the ratio will be lesser than 1 which is the correct option option number 2. Moving on to the next question. The next question is which of the following parameters are useful indicators of pollution potential of the organic effluents. So here the correct option will be option number A yes because the total organic carbon and biological oxygen demand they determine the pollution potential of organic effluents but this turbidity and conductivity doesn't include. Let's move to the next question. The next question is mercury is particularly hazardous to human to the health because so as you can see it is again repeated in the question which was repeated in the first question so the correct option will be option number 3 as it bioaccumulate in the food chain. 18th question is 
ग्राउंड वाटर पोल्यूशन थ्रू केमिकल कंटेमिनेशन इन गंगा ब्रह्मपुत्र डेल्टा रीजन आर प्राइमरली ड्यू टू हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग एलिमेंट्स सो हियर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर टू बिकॉज आर्सेनिक फ्लोराइड एंड नाइट्रेट आर द मेरेजर रीजन फॉर द ग्राउंड वाटर कंटेमिनेशन लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द नाइनटीन क्वेश्चन इज विच आर ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट एन ऑर्गेनो क्लोरिन इंसेक्टिसाइड सो हियर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर टू एल डी कार्ब एज वी हैव डिस्कस इट इज ए ऑर्गेनो कार्बामेट पेस्टिसाइड द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम द बैलेंस मेथड दैट इज द मास बैलेंस मेथड दिस इज द न्यूमेरिकल विच यू कैन सी that the numerical can be solved with the help of the video which i have already made the link is in the description below let's move to the next question the next question is eutrophication in inland wetland such as lake is caused by which of the following reasons so here the correct option will be option number 2 that is due to the enrichment of water by phosphates the eutrophication happens let's move to the next question the next question is What percentage of the water on Earth is fresh water? That is liquid or solid form. You can consider both. So here, the correct option will be option number three. So 2.5 percentage or closer value to the three percentage is the amount of fresh water on Earth. The next question is: In a water body suffering from mercury pollution, the most toxic species among the following is which one? And here. The correct option will be option number three. That is, methyl mercury is the most pollutant in the mercury pollution. The next question is also the same question that the mass balance approach. Twenty fifth question: We have to identify the correct sequence in terms of toxicity of the following molecules. So here, the correct option will be option number one. Yes, the arsenic is the most toxic element, followed by cadmium, methylene chloride. Let's move to the next question. The next question is match the following. So we have to match with the process or event along with the correct consequences and links. So here one will be having the correct option that will go to option number C first. That is, eta eta disease is caused by cadmium poisoning, and then we will look for the option as you all do. So here C matching with two will be option number two. So no need to go for all this, but you should know that A that is assimilative capacity is linked with the waste discharge. and then option number b that is critical water parameter is linked with the dissolved oxygen bod and coliform and next is excess nitrate in water causes blue baby syndrome next match the following is basis on the pesticide and their purpose so here the correct option will be option number 4 yes because malathion pesticide the purpose for use is used for treating the insecticide it is the insecticide next is metaldehyde So metal dehyde is uh, used for malic acid, and then comes dimethyl toluamide. So that is DEET, which is used for the insect repellent. Next is chloronabe, which is used as fungicide. Let's move to the next question. The next question is, which of the following is not an advanced oxidation process for the treatment of wastewater? And here, the correct option. Will be option number four. Yes, acidified potassium dichromate oxidation process is not the advanced process, but these three are the advanced process to treat the wastewater. The next question is coming out regarding the toxicity, and you have to select the correct statement. And here, the correct statement is so you have to read this correctly. This is written which is incorrect. Yes, the incorrect one will be option number four. Cadmium is a criteria pollutant, so don't do this thing. You should read properly. That is which is correct and which is incorrect. Let's move to the next question. The next question is: a rock body or formation which may be porous enough to hold enough quantity of water, but which by virtue of its other property does not allow an easy and quick flow, is called as what? So that rock body, that formation of rock body, will be called as aqueous fluid. Let's move to the next question. The next question is: Ground water occurs under which of the following condition? And here, the correct option will be option number four. Yes, all these three things—that is, unconfined condition, semi-confined aquifers, and confined aquifers—ground water takes place. Let's move to the next question. Next question is again from the mass balance approach. So I'm leaving this. And another question, which is question number thirty-three, is also numerical, which I am skipping this because I am going to make a video on these numericals in the next class. So let's come to the thirty-fourth question. The thirty-fourth question is BOD, that is biochemical oxygen demand, 
of the effluents discharged on land for the irrigation should not exceed which of the following values? The correct option will be option number 200 mg per liter. The next question is Water entrapped at the time of formation of sedimentary rock is called as what kind of water? So the question, the answer will be option number 2, connect water, yes. Let's move to the next question. The next question is a numerical, so we have to skip it. The 37th question is, which of the following is the major sources of mercury pollution in India? The correct option according to UGC will be coal based thermal power plant, but also dental amalgam are the reason for the mercury pollution. The next question is, which of the following minerals causes fluoride pollution in the groundwater? The correct option will be option number 1, fluoride and apatite. So fluoride, the word comes from the fluoride, you can relate that. Next question number 39 is, phytovolatilization of mercuric pollutants involves the volatilization of mercury in which of the following states? The correct option will be option number 1, elemental state. Next question is, under aerobic degradation DDT, which is the pesticide which is banned, is formed to what kind of formation? The correct option will be option number 2, DDE. The next question number 41 is, out of the total freshwater volume of the frozen form constitute what percentage? So the correct option will be option number 2, 70% of the total freshwater constitute from the frozen form. Let's move to the next question. The next question is question number 42 which is telling which form of arsenic is the most toxic one. So we discussed in the previous lessons also the correct option will be option number 1 arsenic plus 3 iron. Next question is blue baby syndrome is caused due to the intake of water high in which kind of element. The correct option will be option number B nitrate. So don't get confused with nitrite it will be nitrate that is NO3 minus. Let's move to the next question. The next question is nitrogenous biochemical oxygen demand refers to the quantity of oxygen needed to convert which of the following. And here the correct option will be option number 3 ammonia to nitrate. Let's move to the 45th question. The 45th question is which one of the following protozoan is related to the water bond disease? And here the correct option will be option number 2. Yes, anti amoeba histolytica causes amoebiasis or amoebic dysentery, which is water borne disease. Let's move to the next question. The next question is the presence of ammonia in groundwater may indicate a nearby what? So the correct option will be option number 2. Nearby municipal solid waste dumping site results in the presence of ammonia in the groundwater. Let's move to the question 47. The 47th question is. Which is the most toxic form of mercury in water? So we have already discussed in the previous question. And the correct option will be option number C, methyl mercury. Next question is, hardness of water is due to the presence of which of the following ions? The correct option will be option number 1, calcium and magnesium ions causes the hardness of water. So the 49th question is again the mass balance approach question. You can check the link in the description. So we'll go to the 50th question. So this question will solve. The question says there is a dilution factor P and the wastewater has the dissolved oxygen of initial that is 9 mg per liter and after 5 days the dissolved oxygen drops to 3 mg per liter and the reaction rate constant given is K which is 0.22 per day and we need to remove its BOD. Kya hai. So the easiest formula to calculate BOD is initial dissolved oxygen which is denoted by DOI minus dissolved oxygen final that is oxygen dissolved taken after 5 days divided by the dilution factor which is P. So if you are putting all this value that is 9 which is the initial dissolved oxygen minus 3 that is the final dissolved oxygen divided by the P which is dilution factor 0 0.03 the answer will be 200. So 200 means it will be 200 milligram per liter. Don't forget the unit. So now we have completed 50 questions so congratulations for the half century and the next complete century we will do in the next video because it will be very boring for you and see you guys in our next video and if you like this don't forget to give a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed till now.